What's up guys, My Big Thing 2010. And today I want to talk to you about a phenomenon known as auto slide release or slide release on fresh mag load. There's a number of ways you can say it, uh, but I just want to address the issue for new shooters out there. I'm going to drop this mag and unload this. For all you new shooters out there, who may have had this happen to you uh, and think your firearm is busted uh, you'll notice that in the background I have some uh, pictures going on we'll talk about those in a second and I just want to give out the standard uh, YouTube disclaimer do not try this at home use snap caps if you are trying this at home I'm pretty experienced with my firearm. It is being pointed in a safe direction. In the event of a negligent discharge, this will hit about four walls and land in an empty field. So this is not pointed at anybody right now, so all the safety police can relax. Um, but if you notice at the, at the start of the video, I'm going to hold this down and just talk for a second here. If you notice at the start of the video, when I loaded that magazine, I did not touch my slide release lever that is located right here. Now normally you you insert you insert your fresh magazine like this and you hit this the slide release and that'll chamber a new round. Now some shooters have noticed that when inserting a fresh magazine with a slide lock like this if they're using force watch my thumb I'm not gonna touch it okay when using force the slide will drop automatically now that is not a defect in your weapon okay you can look at this in one of two ways okay you can either look at this as a benefit uh, or a design flaw or however you want to look at it honestly I look at it as a benefit but I want to note right away that if your handgun is doing that not to rely on it because as you can see from my last demonstration it is not a hundred percent reliable so you always need to be prepared to work your action or drop your slide one or the other. You need to be able to pull this back and release it or load your magazine and prepare, be prepared to drop the slide anyway. Hope I'm in frame there. Um, but the thing is, um, you know, you'll notice that I got some stuff rolling in the back with the XD, uh, XDM. The STI uh, GP6 will even, do the, will even do this. We'll talk about that uh, handgun in just a second. That particular handgun has an ambi slide lock or slide release lever on it, which means it engages on both sides of the weapon. Um, Glocks have been known to do this. Uh, MMPs have been known to do it, etc., etc., etc. If you have a handgun that has a slide lock of this type that engages, that has a face that engages the a piece of the slide okay there's two engagement surfaces here as we'll talk about in the bigger pictures um, in just a second uh, you can expect that at some point that will happen to you when you insert a magazine with a certain amount of force and if uh, not even if but uh, some handguns there's a technique you have to have the handgun maybe cocked off about 45 degrees uh, some will just drop like this depending on the condition of the engagement surfaces uh, some uh, will only engage when you hit them like this. Um, there's a number of different ways. You have to figure out what's right for you on, on your particular uh, firearm. But, um, like I said, be prepared for it not to work. Always be prepared to drop your slide. Train like that. Don't ever take anything for granted with your firearm, uh, especially if you're using it in uh, a, a life uh, a life saving situation. Um, now, this is not something to be concerned about, 
okay because just because your slide drops by itself doesn't mean the rounds gonna go off if you notice you can't see my finger because it's not on the trigger all right handguns don't just any gun doesn't just magically go off unless you positively engage the trigger okay I'm safe there's no ammo in it unless you positively engage the trigger and let the round off uh, these are drop safe uh, nowadays you can drop these on the ground it's not gonna you know it's not gonna slam fire on you or anything like that but what I let me uh, go ahead and, and disassemble this real quick um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this uh, little slideshow real quick and I want to talk real quick just about engagement surfaces and I'm going to try to show you on the actual firearm what I'm talking about uh, but my camera sucks guys so you'll have to kind of just go with it um, we'll talk about that STI in a second I don't even know if a lot of you guys maybe have even heard of that uh, alright let's start with this this is what the slide lock lever looks like removed from a firearm this is uh, actually the inside view as if you were inside the gun looking that way okay that's what it looks like so you see this little point here this is the uh, extended slide lever so the point would be right here so this is on the in if, as you're looking at like if you could stick your head in the mag well and look that way at the slide release lever okay that's the inside now let me get my pointer here this surface right here that that's the top surface that's the surface that engages in the notch of the firearm okay that's the surface that engages this little this little nook right here this little cutout okay I don't know if you guys can see that sorry if you can't um, and depending on the amount of wear I'm gonna switch to another view let's see okay now you can see this a little bit better here this is the slide lock this is what you would hit with your thumb okay you see how this is the extended slide lock like I just showed you on my firearm this is the OEM may uh, what the gun ships with so this is what most of you might have unless you upgraded to this mine is upgraded as you can see you can see the little point there so you're looking at on the screen exactly the way your thumb would touch it okay and this is the surface right here and right here oh sorry my bad it's this surface on the back but it, just so you can see there's a top surface and then there's a the back here and the back here is what engages the slide to, to lock the slide so on the actual firearm I'm gonna try and show you but my camera sucks close up guys so you see my finger okay I don't even know if you can you guys can see that okay this surface on the rearmost let me see if I can get my pointer back where to put that all right this surface right here is what's engaging the slide that's what's holding the slide and over time this little surface will be this surface here so when your slides locked it's pressed against here right where that the tip of that bullet is and when you release the slide see how the bullet moved forward your slide would move forward like that so after time this squared off top of the surface will become rounded and this surface the face of it will become polished okay so the, the very back surface here and the the sharp corner where the slide rides over the top of it you, you can see this on your own firearm um, will become worn so that won't be a square edge anymore right there it'll be more of a rounded edge and the face will become polished because the steel in the slide is a lot harder than the steel in the slide lever or the slide release lever all right so let me just show you guys just so maybe it'll make sense to you guys I'm gonna put this 
back together real quick. Now you see where the slide lever is here, okay? I'm trying to reach over the camera and block my light. Now you'll see when I pull this back, you see how it engages in that notch? And when I drop that, the force being applied is going to round that top edge off over time, okay? So every time I go like that, it wears away at the face of this slide release lever and also wears away at the top corner just a tad bit now I don't look at it as a malfunction okay because this is physics guys alright you have a tiny surface engaging a tiny surface with a tiny bit of friction as soon as you disrupt that friction with an overwhelming force it's gonna overcome that friction and your slides gonna drop forward and it's gonna automatically load that round into the chamber okay hopefully you saw that now there's one in here so let me get it out okay I'm clear again just so you guys know um, so at a certain point, a certain amount of force, especially in a stressful situation, you're going to reload that mag and it's going to drop. You might even just be at the range screwing around and reload a mag and, and the slide drops on you and you're like, oh crap, my gun is broken. No, it's not. Okay? A lot of competition shooters actually... Now, I'm, this is not a how-to and I'm not advising you to go do this. This is for informational purposes only. A lot of competition shooters will actually take a Dremel to that face and that top corner and round it off so their handguns will automatically drop the slide on a fresh mag. And that's just to speed up their reloads. So I would look at it as, okay, it's happening. I'm aware of it. It's not a malfunction. It's not a safety issue. But if it doesn't happen... I also always need to pre be prepared to drop the slide. Now even though m m this Glock actually does do it most of the time, it doesn't do it 100% of the time, and I always am prepared to drop that slide, okay? If it does do it, great. I can feel it on my thumb where I'm, when it's locked back. When it does, when I load that mag and it, and it does do it, I can feel it move forward and I can move my thumb and continue to, to engage, okay? If it doesn't do it, I'm already there to get ready to drop it so I can continue to engage, all right? So either way, I'm going through the motion. I'm already ready to drop the slide. If it, if it drops by itself, I continue to fire, you know, no further steps needed. If it doesn't drop, I drop it manually and continue to, to fire as needed. Alright, so I just want you guys to be aware of that, especially new shooters. Uh, I know this has come up a lot um, on uh, forums and in the in the new shooter community. Even uh, some uh, experienced shooters that have never had that happen to them uh, will get online seeking information. Hopefully they find this video and they find it helpful. Um, but any type of firearm that uses this face-to-face -face notch engagement to lock the slide back, um, that will happen. Okay. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention just before I close out the video here is, um, you know, you may be firing your buddy's, uh, let's say, your buddy's XD 9mm or your, X, your buddy's XDM 40, okay? And it does it over and over and over to the point where you think it's 100%. It does it all the time, but you have an XD 45 and you can't get yours to do it, okay? It's not, it's not model specific. It's not manufacturer specific. Uh, and like I just want to reiterate once again, it's not a design flaw. It's just a matter of physics, okay? So, uh, if, if you have a Glock and yours doesn't do it, but your buddy's does do it, it's not, it, you, your buddy may have racked his slide or may have shot his gun a lot more than you have. You may have a newer Glock that hasn't, uh, that hasn't polished quite so nicely yet. So, it's, like I said, it's not myopic. It's, it's all over the place. It could be any, any type of gun 
or, or, or firearm that uses that type of slide lock engagement, it can happen to. Uh, and in my uh, experience, it has been with handguns that are used, not safe queens, uh, ones or ones that you know people do it to on purpose. But um, you know, after a certain amount, I can actually maybe show you if my camera. Let me take this down. I'll show you real quick before um, figures I'm on camera. All right, let's see if I can show you the surface of the slide release. You can see. I don't know if I can get it to glisten in the light the right way, but I don't know. Maybe you can see it. That back surface is uh, a little bit shinier. See this? Jeez, oh, right here is a little bit shinier than the sorry guys let's see if I can get it I don't know maybe it'll come out in the video maybe there it is maybe yeah see that shine right there that's from my slide being worked over it over and over and over and over again over a period of years okay and that basically what it's done is it's essentially polished it um, so that's basically why it occurs how it occurs where and when it occurs and how to look at it I wouldn't uh, like I said I would consider it a benefit I wouldn't r rush off to your gunsmith and uh, start complaining about about your firearm um, speaking of gunsmith I am going to show you guys how to replace your slide release lever in an upcoming video you can do it yourself save your pennies don't run down to the gunsmith and I think that probably would cost you about thirty to forty-five dollars, depending on your area, to have them swap it out, and it takes about three minutes, and just the know-how. So stay tuned for that video. I'll be showing you guys how to do that, and I'll be showing you guys how to replace your original equipment uh, magazine release button with an extended one, uh, also. So uh, stay tuned for those videos, and I hope this video was helpful, and now you understand why sometimes when you insert a fresh magazine, the slide drops by itself. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Sorry about the 20-minute video, but it had to be addressed. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night.